to know. In Spanish, we get two verbs to know. It's like saying, would you like one Mini Cooper or would you like two Mini Coopers? Well, obviously you're going to choose two, so Spanish gives us two verbs to know, but we can't use them interchangeably. So we're going to go over some reasons to use it, how to conjugate it in the present tense, and what it sounds like. So saber, to know a fact, information, or something memorized, or if you add saber plus an infinitive, to know how to do something. We'll give some examples in a minute. Conocer is to know a person or to be acquainted with a person, place, or thing. And to be acquainted with a place generally means that you've been there. We'll give an example in a second. In both of these, in the present tense, and that's what we're going to work on today, box one is irregular. Say, box one is irregular. Check out that accent. The rest is normal. And for conocer, we have conozco, Z-C-O. And that Z, it, in, in, in Latin America, you're going to pronounce that like an S, not like a Z, like in English, like a S. Conozco. Let's look at saber. Three examples. To know a fact, information, or something memorized. I know how much a Mini Cooper costs. Sé cuánto cuesta, you know, a Mini Cooper. Second example with saber, you know, you can say, I know the conjugations of the irregular verbs. Sé las conjugaciones de los verbos irregulares. I know them. It's something memorized. It's a fact. It's an information. And then three, we could also say to know how to do something, so saber plus an infinitive. Sé manejar un estándar. I know how to drive a stick shift or a standard transmission to know how to do something. Let's look at some examples with conocer in the present tense. I don't know your parents. Like, I've never met your parents. No conozco a tus papás. Or you could say, we are familiar with the music. Conocemos la música de Cuba. You know, we've heard it, we're familiar with, we're acquainted with it. I'm not saying that I know a fact about it, I'm just saying that, that I'm familiar with it. Or number three, if I asked you the question, ¿Conocen ustedes Cuernavaca? Are you all familiar with Cuernavaca? The implication of that question is, have you been there? So saber and conocer. You can translate them both as I know, you know, he knows. But it's more important to think about the context of what kind of knowing are you referring to and to try to substitute some other words in English. Are you talking about knowing a fact, some information, something memorized, or how to do something? Saber. And if you're thinking about knowing a person or being acquainted with a person, place, or thing, like, you know, have you been there? You're going to go with conocer. Later in life and look at some of our other tenses, the definitions are going to change just a little bit. But for today... Let's just practice that. Hey, don't forget about box one. Say, conozco. Suerte.